Hello everybody, I'm Daniel back with the uh, fifth part of A Link to the Past. In the last part we pretty much did nothing, it just did the events that lead up to like, getting to the Desert Palace. And yeah, inside the big chest. Well, and we entered it and did half of it, um, I'm gonna say. Inside the chest there's the Power Glove. Pretty nice, I know. All it does is allow you to lift up- okay, that's cool. Allows you to lift up, like, those rocks that we always see. That blocks our path from, like, half the things in the game. Only the- oh god, only the light uh, rocks, though. The dark ones we can't lift yet. So, exit out here, and... Yeah, if you go down, there's a vulture and a heart piece. But then you can come over here. God, it's hard. Ah, nothing to the right, but if you come inside here, you will be pretty close to the boss. Oh, this room. Run, run, run. <laughs> That's how you do it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> really? Yeah, I'm definitely gonna win. Yep. Alright, that's why we have fairies. No bigs, no bigs. Yeah, now we're fully healed, which helps. Wait, don't we have another one? Alright, I had to check. That's not even what I wanted to have out. Okay, yeah, you can do that. That does nothing. Alright. That's that's pretty cool. Oh, this room. Oh, that's fun. Oh, we got the hearts. That's pretty much good. Goodness. Alright. Light the four torches. Whatever they are. Lanterns. Oh, use your lantern to light the four torches. That's what I'm calling them. And the room will move. Ooh, moving room. So, enter here. And we're now at the boss. So pretty much all you gotta do is hit their heads. It's pretty, pretty simple. All right, there we go. Get to kill all three of them. So. Don't get too excited. There we go. All right. Once you get down to one, the boss fight's really easy. As you see, took him out already. Pick up the seventh, seventh air container as the blue pendant falls from the sky. The pendant of wisdom. Yeah. Courage, wisdom, and power. Pendant of power. Oh, I wish that red was power because red is usually evil. Oh, whatever. Pendant of power. Your goal: finding three pendants is in sight. Go for the last one. All right. Well, that's that's pretty awesome. So yeah, got the second pendant. Exit the desert as soon as possible because it's really annoying here. That we'll do later. That green book will do something involving that. That green statue. Oh my god! I already spoiled it. Yeah, use the book, Midor. Whatever. 
but we can't access it yet. Isn't there stairs? Yeah. So yeah, as you can see, we can lift up the rocks. Pretty much this place just has a ton of rupees, which is which is nice, I'm not complaining. And some guy who's just like, oh yeah, don't tell anyone about it. Never mind, he talks about Lake Hylia. They're pretty close in relevance, if you think about it. Not, not even at all, but... You know... Thought that counts. So... We're gonna head back up towards the... The one person's house. The potion makers. We're gonna head up there. I'm gonna try to find some more hard pieces that we can get. So... I don't know, but... Well, so we can have eight hearts for the... the whatever it's called. The next dungeon temple thing. The next palace, there we go. Glove just makes everything better. Yeah, see, here's the black rocks. We can't lift them yet. But now we can lift that up and have a nice life. Isn't this the way you're supposed to go? Oh my god, please tell me it is. Yeah, I'm I'm more than three percent sure. Alright, so you are supposed to go this way. Yeah, I have this path pretty much Actually I don't even I don't even know if I'm going the right way. Okay, I'll take a bomb. That's always nice. What the heck? What is going on here? Oh yeah, you're supposed to go down. Getting bombarded. There we go. King Zora. So here we can buy the flippers for 500 rupees. And that's cheap, we still get them. But now. Now we can just walk into these deep, deep spots and. Go for a little swim. But if you go over here, you can find a nice heart piece. So that'll be two. Well, that is two out of five. Jet of five. Four and four pieces that we need. Where am I going? Right. If you come up here, though, you can go into the waterfall. Ooh, spooky. Run up to it. You can throw stuff into the pond. So if you throw in your boomerang... Dun dun dun. A fairy comes out and says, You drop it there? And you're like, yeah. And you're like, I like an honest person. I'll give you something better. So yeah, she upgrades your boomerang, so now it's red. And throw it faster and farther. Sweet. But, we're not done yet. We have one more thing to upgrade? Yeah. I think. I think that's all we can upgrade right now. Throw an item. Throw in your shield, your little baby shield.
And she'll give you this little red fireball one that's better. Now it can protect you against fireballs. So yeah, we're pretty much almost done with for this episode. And I have to go as soon as I finish this, as I die. Yeah, okay, whatever. Well, yeah. Thank you all for watching this part of Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. I'm Daniel. Peace out.